Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics. Guys, today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It is related to chessboard and it's a polyconceptual po uh, problem. It's an original one and uh, yes, there are some trick involved uh, as well. So here is a statement of this problem. There is a chessboard having uniform char density of K1 and K2 on colored and plain uh, square units and the size of board is L as shown. Assume that the center of board is at uh, origin and the board lies in xy plane so first part is what will be the mass of particle having a charge of q naught if it stays in equilibrium at point 0 comma 0 comma l by 2 gravity is acting along the negative z axis and uh, second part is if the board is rotated with a constant angular velocity of omega naught then what will be the force acting on another identical board placed at a distance of z and rotating with the same angular velocity about x axis and lying in y z plane so this is the question so let's discuss this problem <clears throat> so guys you can uh, see here dealing with chessboard configuration with the traditional method will be very complicated and uh, however if you use superposition it makes it really really easy so if uh, you see this is the chessboard and if you rotate it by an angle of 90 degree, we are going to get this configuration. And if you join these two, you are going to get a plane sheet having uh, charge density or mass density of K1 plus K2, you can say, or sigma 1 plus sigma 2, you can say here. All right. So I think now idea will be coming in your mind that it was uh, really easy. And here you can see. Uh, now, uh, this is a cube of side length of L and this distance is L by 2. So, this is equivalent of calculating field at the center of the cube due to one phase. So, using the solid angle concept directly, I can write this E is going to be sigma by 6 epsilon naught at the center due to one of the phase. Now, sigma of this combined one is uh, sigma 1 plus sigma 2, which is uniform. So now field at the center is going to be sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 6 epsilon naught. Now field due to the chess board, due to one uh, such board, here you can say due to this also it is going to be E and due to this also it is going to be E. So 2E. So basically here you can say EC is equal to this field by 2. So sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 12 epsilon naught. This is going to be the field due to one of the chess board uh, on its axis at a distance of L by 2. Now here, <coughs> electric force balances the weight mg in equilibrium. So mg is equal to q naught ec. So ec value is known to you. So this m we can uh, calculate here. Sigma 1 plus sigma 2 q naught by 12 epsilon naught g. This is going to be the answer for first part. So if this uh, trick comes in mind of superposition, then this question becomes very easy. Otherwise, it's a challenging problem. And uh, similarly, for the second part, I can say the rotating chessboard can be treated as a dipole and its dipole moment is given by. So we are going to use this concept here, mu is equal to q by 2m times angular momentum. So I axis omega. So now for this uh, single chessboard, if its moment of inertia is I and its mass is m. Now for this configuration also, same moment of inertia and uh, same mass m about the axis perpendicular to the plane of it now when i join these two uh, the mass will become 2m and moment of inertia also becomes 2i now 2i value we can write very easily for the square plate 2i is equal to uh, its mass is now 2m so ml square by 12 plus ml square by 12 we have to write so from here 2 2 2 gets cancelled and you will be getting i is equal to ml square by 6 now this i is for this entire thing right uh, sorry this i is for this uh, chess board we have written here and uh, the charge on the chess board i can write as uh, q q is this value sigma 1 into l square by 2 plus sigma 2 into l square by 2 uh, so this will be sigma 1 l square if it was entirely sigma 1 and uh, so we have half of the area so this is how we are writing the total charge present on uh, this uh, chess board divided by 2m it's mass i'm writing and times i omega i is ml square by 6 times omega so mu value comes as the magnetic moment comes as 
sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 24 L to the power 4 omega. This is going to be the magnetic moment. Now dipole dipole force can be calculated very easily. See guys, this is the configuration because uh, <coughs> the plane of rotation has been changed. So in this case, the formula becomes 3k mu1 mu2 by r to the power 4 you can refer uh, my previous video where dipole dipole interaction i have discussed in various configurations so if you know this formula this becomes very very easy just substitute the value of mu1 is equal to mu2 here and on finally when we simplify we are going to get this as the answer mu naught sigma 1 plus sigma 2 whole square uh, l to the power 8 by omega naught square divided by 768 pi z to the power 4 this is going to the final answer guys i hope you have enjoyed this original problem there were a lot of tricks and uh, it was basically a multi-dimensional uh, problem and it will uh, it was easy in my opinion and a perfect perfect candidate for j advanced type of exam so guys if you have enjoyed this please share this video with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem Thank you. Thanks for watching it.